tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 57. Talk is over. We're set for the big one. Super Bowl 57. Away we go from Arizona. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A single four and take it. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards right off the bat. And a quick first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. And yeah, this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down, and this crowd loves it as their guys hold on the opening drive. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. He's across midfield. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. Allen. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. On play action, Allen. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off near the 26, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and... Well, he's going to keep this again. 
He's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it, it's a really different ball game. All that preparation, it goes right out the window. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And the left side, the completion is tied in. Now he's stripped. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Go on the other way. football but I've got to give credit to the defense there good job of knocking it free yeah because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it how about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to and if they're good anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football and they still find ways to knock it free right back to him on first down and he'll get into the end zone touchdown way with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Joey, striking first in any game is very important, but on this stage, the biggest of stages in the Super Bowl, that's huge. You fully expect the other team to battle all the way through, but when you're the one setting the pace, jumping out in front, that has to feel great for the entire organization. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brings up second and four. They'll run with Pollard. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And now the ball's out. Follow near midfield. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. 20, 10. Uh -huh. And they are going to score on the final return. Touchdown, LA. So they obviously decline that, and it is a touchdown. They still have the option. But let's face it, there's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. And he knocks it through. Nothing. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Play action. They'll throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. And the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That's a gain of 13, first down Rams. LA Rams. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. He's to the 10, and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A 
Charles, 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. At their own 22 yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points out. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. the play fake. He'll look to throw. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Roquan Smith in on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and Here's second and eight. 39 yard line. Yeah, he's going to keep it here. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. Oh, looking for water, but this is intercepted. A great lead, and it's picked off. First quarter, 21 nothing. our score after one. Rams 21, Dolphins nothing. Going to give this time to the tailback. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Josh Allen on the tackle. A gain of a yard. Back around his goal line. And here's Allen. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone. It's a safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a give here to Pollard. Room here to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Slings this deep from McClure, and that's caught inside the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know, there's a quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game in the end. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. This 
is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous run. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. It's fourth down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That one is slant to McLaurin. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. This has been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for him. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in the game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's now looking good for him here. Credited with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. They didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Throwing his Allen on three. And it is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They do go for it. Here's Allen. He's got Evans. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Allen now on first down. They're going for Hamlin, but this is intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for like, what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horoscope ball? Is bio rhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe race sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? Well, maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long play. It's third down and 12. The Dolphins on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third down and 12. Now they'll throw here. Out the game. Able to find Warner. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the Rams. Now Pollard. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Waller taking it in over the middle. And he gets this one inside of 15. Just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. And it's another first down. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. One yard line. Now here's Pollard. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. 
A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. <laughs> Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Six yards, and the Rams tack on to their advantage. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time, and that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Point after, right down the middle, and that will make this a 19-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Looking deep downfield. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. And eight yards to go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. One yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now they go screen. It's complete. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. All battle for it here, and this will be caught. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. Decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory. 
but also what they were saying is don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. Mike Evans, he's going to go. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 73 yards. Operating from the gun. Allen looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Evans once again the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Now Allen again. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Mike Evans. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Rams add on to their lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Dolphins nine. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This taken in about four yards deep. And he will be blocked out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes, but those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now... It's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Eluding the pressure right. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 23. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Taken down back at the 20 yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to work it here to the 8 yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. First Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. And now they'll throw with Allen. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A two-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Rams 42, Dolphins 9. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Their own 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to the locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there half time, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. And they do find takes it to the 25 on first down Pollard. and they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done 11 more on that one and another first down that's another Dolphins first down and he has met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on the play it'll be second down Back to throw now on second and ten. And now here is another oh, interception. Oh. Able to get there and pick it. And take it all the way up near the 30 yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Brings up second and two at the 36-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Makes it third and two. Now at third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Got a man complete. It's Hamler. And a play. Touchdown, Allen. K.J. Hoyer, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 15, and a terrific return as he'll take.